uh, we are going to present uh, uh, community-based participatory digital mapping and on of pastoral list resources and their attributes. Uh, we are coming from Adaptation Consortium. Adaptation Consortium is a consortium of uh, non-state actors that are working with the state actors to promote and to strengthen uh, community uh, resilience programming. It started in ASAL areas. It is now being scaled to non-ASAL areas. Yeah, so uh, looking at uh, briefly uh, what we are talking about is that uh, Adaptation Consortium, uh, together with other stakeholders and local communities in a few pilot counties, developed information sharing toolkits on climate information services, uh, resilience assessment, and digital resource mapping. And, and the other facilitated these pastoral communities uh, basically, we did it in Isiolo and Wajia counties to develop a resource atlas uh, through community-based mapping of pastoral resources and the attributes of those resources. And this was done uh, through participatory digital mapping using satellite imagery, digital art, and other open source geographic information systems to bridge the knowledge and communication gap between pastoral communities and government planners. And this has been talked about uh, uh, since morning. Uh, the activity combined community drone perception maps uh, uh, with digital mapping uh, strategy, which offered uh, several benefits, such as uh, community ownership of the digital maps and community entry points to discussing natural resource management. Now, uh, a step-by-step -step process of how this happened is, uh, first of all, when we went to the communities, uh, we looked at the features and attribute specification with the community. Uh, which features are in this community? What are their attributes? And then step two uh, was now a projected uh, digital aerial comparative assessment when it is brought to the ground and compared with what the community perceives. And then step three was that uh, the participants now were looking at the attributes they are identifying and describing, and then adding them to a digital map which had already uh, those kind of uh, features brought from the sky, of course, through GIS uh, uh, mapping. And then step four uh, was that the two data sets were merged and, and, uh, and symbolized to create a community uh, resource layer of a GIS map. And then step five was to bring it back now to the participants to validate that actually what is coming out in this map is the way we know it in our communities. And then step six now is to do a cycle of that mapping and refining until you come up with a, a near exact map of what has been brought from the sky through GIS and has been brought from the community uh, by them saying this is exactly how it is. And then there was also a GIS log, a GPS log of all those points where the resources uh, were mapped in the, in, 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 in the community. Now, this is a template map of uh, Isiolo County, uh, where now the community was facilitated to identify which features are where and what are their attributes. Uh, some of those features, infrastructure, uh, physical features, land use, land cover, water and drainage, water point capacity, and other adaptation projects in the community were mapped into uh, the county map. And then a similar one was done for Wajia. Uh, and after that, now it was digitized and, and, and loaded online. And that digitization provided a chance to uh, update any feature that uh, could be verified and, and rectified by the community. Uh, it provided an opportunity to do instant and real-time updating of, of those maps. And the communities were very excited. They talked about it as if they are the ones who produced it, although they were assisted from outside that participation, we found it very important. Unfortunately, we did 
community resilience programming pilots in five counties. This one was only done in two counties. And after that, uh, the, 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 the experts on community resource mapping abandoned the community participation and went high level science to produce the maps from the sky and bring them back to the community. And if you heard very keenly Dr. Guyo talking, the communities don't even know these products exist because they were not partaking of the process. So we are saying we need to go back to this community participation in the production of those knowledge products so that they can own it. If you go to ask, they can talk about it. They can tell you they know it. These are some of the documents that are online that are talking about that process. 